this might be a first for me guys so i made it here and i got so hyped up for half off day i'm here before the lights are on inside i don't know like i'm sure they're gonna be like man this guy's weird but i'm already the weird dude with a camera that stops in the thrift stores multiple times a day so we'll just embrace it all right so getting inside here my strategy was to go straight to the electronics and appliances first we'll see if that pays off in a second here I am going to address a few things that I do put back. So everything I initially put in the cart, I don't necessarily make it to the checkout with. So they had $20 on the Sony here. It's a five disc CD changer. However, this is the model that's not worth as much. And there's actually zero showing is sold right now. So... I do end up putting that back. This Vizio here, it'll be $5 after the discount. So I go ahead and jump on it. Probably about $35.40 ship. There's a little bit of profit to be made there. This Home Medics could have been okay. However, the comp I threw up on the screen, way better condition. This one had too much scratching on the head of it. So I ended up putting that back. Not a lot of sell through on that New Balance heart rate monitor either. But yeah, this would have only been 250, so not awful. It's just condition wise, I, I feel like I would have taken a hit trying to move that on eBay. And that's, a, I guess, a really important point to bring up is not everything's meant to be resold necessarily like a lot of these items people are just going to buy for general use and I really have no use for them from a flipping standpoint I probably purchase what a tenth of a percent of uh, anything on a good day that's in a store right this game I'd never heard of it before and yeah it's like cockatoos, cockatoos, fishing master, and like it sells for like five bucks, guys. I did find this additional Blu-ray player with remote here. This Magnavox should go for about 40 shipped. Ignore what's on my screen there because it's not the Blu-ray. And looking through the uh, aisle here, I found these two Salt City candles. So these are discontinued and they have been put on warmers but they're in good condition and I'm actually gonna buy these at $1.50 a piece because there are sold comps for like around 70 to $80 on these in this condition and even higher if they were brand new. So I saw this Sherpa style quarter zip North Face deal here and they had 13 bucks on it, half off, so 650, right? And I figured, why not? I'll go ahead and toss that in the cart as well and go check out. It would have been 41 dollars and 87 cents with the flash sale. Brings it down to 20 dollars and 93 cents. So we didn't hit too big there. Got a couple Blu-ray players that will sell for a few bucks. We'll make something on them. Those candles, if they were new, would have been insane because they're discontinued. Still going to sell them pre-owned just because they are discontinued. They have been on wax melters, though. Really, the value is purely because they're discontinued in desirable sense. So we should still do okay on them. Going to go get breakfast. Really shouldn't because coffee's for closers, but... All right, guys, so they told me before I left that they were going to put out new stuff in the afternoon. I totally wanted to check that out because they were still going to do that new inventory they were putting out at 50% off. And I'm super glad I did. This is probably one of the biggest hauls I've had at that store in a long time. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. I'll get you on this one too. Thank you, sir. Oh yeah, sure. I thought all the children were dead. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right, so getting started here for round two. I head over to where the new stock carts would be 
I can already see there's at least one out, but once I get back there, I'm like, oh, there's a bunch out. Now, I grabbed this toy and land shark and put them in my cart so I could look at them later. And eventually I had to look at the land shark midway through so I could free up some cart space. So I do end up putting both of these items back. However, brawn food processors are always a great pickup. You can always part them out as well. But at $12.99, half off, $6.50, that's totally a buy. The comp I threw up was an offer, so in Terrapeak, you can see they accepted 70 plus 25 ship. And then I get to this end cart, the newest new stock cart, and I'm looking at the top. She's on that side, and she ended up grabbing this desk jack printer while I'm grabbing that cassette tape player. And yeah, that's a totally awesome printer that she picked up there. I'm a little jealous, but I actually really don't worry or concern myself with like what I don't buy just because, you know, obviously I'm not buying it. And I get to find so many cool items all the time. I'm happy for at that point. The desk jet was brand new. But keep it in mind because something interesting will happen in a few minutes related to that printer. The red skeleton here, sealed, but I probably shouldn't have bought it. I did I did buy it for 50 cents. I'll end up selling that at the flea market. I've got a Nesco here, and it's decent. I think we're at like $10 with discount, so I do end up picking it up. It wasn't a crock pot container, which is why I had overlooked it on my first trip. Those all sea lamps are really cool, but not something I'd really probably want to ship. However, these curtain rods, which I probably shouldn't want to ship either, are $6.50 a piece. I end up buying both. They're dead stock. I don't think or know if we're actually going to get that $99.99. There are no comps. That's our listing right there. And I decide to look here at the car stereo. This guy. Brand new would have been like a hundred, but I opened it up. It doesn't matter anyways. It's actually the used Freightliner one. So he probably just put that one back in the box when he swapped them out. Almost certainly doesn't work. So I do put that back. As mentioned, I don't grab the land shark. As interesting as it is. So now I'm making another pass here and this must not have been out for some reason. Somebody might have had in their cart during the first go around. However, this kitchen center has been here a while and they originally had it priced at $49.99. And then one day I noticed it was $24.99 and it still is sat here. So uh, at half off, I'll grab it. 12.50 is totally in my buying range for said item and I'm happy with it. And the thing is, this is another one of those units which is easy to part out if you decide not to sell it complete. At this point, I'm trying to figure out I've got to do something with these curtain rods. So big brain energy here. And I finally put them at the bottom. I still bump into some things, but it's a little bit less annoying. I saw this Atlantic mold. Just wanted to share it with you guys. They had 30. It would have been 15. This one doesn't sell for a ton. I, did, I looked it up, uh, the motorcycle one. Just thought it was neat. And now I make another pass down this aisle, and I'm totally glad I did. I can't believe it. She either placed it down here or one of the or returned it to a staff member who did so. But yeah, it's brand new sealed, guys. There's only one sold comp on this, so take it with a grain of salt. I don't know if I'll get that or not, but I have sold a few new in box printers in the past. So yeah, I'm totally thrilled. It was priced at like 40 bucks, so I paid 20. And then this national number seven pressure cooker. Pretty decent buy. I think they had it marked at 20. I'm paying 10. And I do look over the lamps a little bit here. They're really cool. They would have been $12.50 a piece. And I know they would have went for a little bit of money. They brought out another new stock cart, guys. And it's just, what a great day. This Phillips air fryer here, I'm going to pick it up for $15. Ignore the Black & Decker rice cooker. 
and yeah, uh, definitely grabbing this. 98.41 is that soul comp right there. So if we can get anywhere close to that and I go ahead and head on over to the checkout. All right, your total before the sale is 191.24. All right. 95.62. Nice. Yes, sir. Hey guys, if you're enjoying the video so far, please consider subscribing. I really would appreciate it. So that was a great second run there. And I think it kind of proves the point that if you go out and you look more and don't just give up on like the first attempt, I went to a couple other thrifts after that even, just keep going. You'll eventually find something and I'm totally glad that I listened and went back for a second round. I guess real quick, couple points of misunderstanding on yesterday's video. <laughs> so I did not actually see with my own eyes anything occur. So I'm not just gonna go and start randomly accusing people when I have no knowledge of something at a store. So it wasn't some instance where I was being a coward or didn't want to help anyone. I didn't see the person actually move the cart with my eyes. Like my GoPros, when I'm outsourcing, it's on my chest, on a chest mount. It's not like attached to my head or anything. So it's not moving as my head's moving. I don't know, just wanted to clear that up. If you haven't seen yesterday's video, it's a little bit different than my normal stuff, but go check it out, it's pretty cool. This is a really heavy shipping one. So let me just explain real quick. The vast majority of the listings on my store are free shipping. Some of these might actually just go up calculated shipping, but for the purpose of today's exercise, we are going to include shipping in our list. So we're gonna have to deduct shipping. That's another point with it is that free shipping is kind of a misnomer. You bake the shipping into the price. If it was $100 free shipping, it's probably $80 plus 20 shipping by other sellers. The total list price for everything will be $993. Our shipping that we'll have to deduct is 194, some bigger items today. The fees that we're gonna pay to eBay, $129.09. Our cost of goods sold will be $116.55. So that's gonna leave us with a total profit of $553.36 before paying the IRS. So I think that's pretty good. There are a couple other little expenses there, so keep it in mind of like gas. Anyways, I'm gonna wrap it up here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Really do appreciate the support, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.